Very good everyone, as I told the blind maid, sharing about men of the world, and today I am doing the Asked Off Her Tie. Welcome to all new people that are here, and for those coming back to watch other videos, welcome to. So Lauren did this tie on her channel, and asked some questions for her, and it seemed treating, and I thought I'd do as well. So the first question is for JT Rowling. And it's what Harry Potter house you still see with. So I am a Slytherin call because I feel like I belong on both in the house of Slytherin for being cunning, ambitious, and trickery. And also Ravenclaw, which is the house of intelligence and knowledge. The next is Stephen King. Do you believe in ghosts? And if any of you guys have seen my videos, then you already know the answer, which is yes. I believe that in between the world of the living and the dead is the spirit realm. And I've had interactions where spirits reach out or I'll feel their, feel their energy or presence. So definitely know it's this. Next question is for John Green. If you could visit any place, real or fictional, where would you go? And I have two answers for this. One is real and one's not. Now the first one would be to bat pat for Europe because I've been to London and I really want to go back. But I also want to do other places in Europe and experience their culture and what's like the norm for them or what they're known for. And then the other one, which Lauren's laugh at this, would be Burke, which is the fictional place for how to train your dragon. Ooh. I mean, you have to learn how to write dragons. You wouldn't want that. Yeah, I can't make fun of you for that. I agree. Can I come with? <laughs> I mean, I'd probably be cold all the time because it's like Iceland. Not Iceland, but Greenland almost. So it's like always putter in ice and snow. But I mean, come on. You gotta it. You don't ask for that. Next question is for Suzanne Collins. Who is the one person you can't live without? And this feels like talk out because I'm sure Lauren knows the answer. And it's her. I mean, you can't live without your Irish twin or partner crime. Aww. Next one is for Victor Hugo. Do you believe in love at first sight? And the answer to that is heck no. I believe that you could have attraction or feel like spark of romance, but there's no way you follow with someone after you first meet them. It's Stephanie Meyer. If you could be any supernatural creature, what would you be? Now, I could be smart out and just say that since I'm a child of fae, that it counts as me being associated with fairies. No, you would be on Chili Court and I would run away. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I may be cool to be an elf. You know, I'd be a very short elf. But then it's like, since I'm a part of fae, it's like, uh, they kind of run hand in hand. Uh, it would also be cool to be like an ice elemental or a sea nymph. Alright, so the next one is F. Scott Fitzgerald. Right, and Laura had to say that since I should not say the last name. <laughs> Question is, is if you had unlimited funds for one day, what would you do? Money! Uh, hard question it's like you always start to have money and it's like then you have too much it's like what do you do with it all so i think the first thing i would do is get me and learn a house and make sure that the rest of my family is financially stable and that they don't have to worry about having to work or their own funds for a while i would build my own college and school because I feel like the education system is a piece of crap and that if you're disabled in any way that you're shoved under the radar and you're not allowed to show your full potential. Lauren is as far as that I probably would have a couple animal sanctuaries built for animals that are endangered like wolves and polar bears and stuff like that and I would fund research for not only people with disabilities, but also 
a cleaner energy source so that way people don't stop destroying nature for oil and fossil fuels. Yeah, and fossil fuels. Yes, is that right? And I would also buy a large part of land so that way Evan and Chris would have their own place to run Dragon Friends. And so I had always the final place to rent for the events. Oh, giant castle? Oh, yeah. I mean, we do Dragon Friends, and on the other side, we do our version of Harry Potter or Magic School. Nice. And. Hmm. And I like the large idea of building a amusement park for people that are disabled or adults. That'd be cool. And. My little farm for horses for you and Sam. Well, I said areas for animals that need help. We don't have running in because the animals on the farm we tend to by children that have autism or cerebral palsy and stuff like that. And also having a company built for writing. It's, I mean, people like to write, but it's like hard to publish and like, here you go. I will pay you to publish my books and do all the work. <laughs> we just have like a team of like top notch people. So, like an editor, designer, marketing team. Yep. It works. And then I would have a pub and a bakery up next to each other. So that way our mom could run the pub and make her dishes and I could make the bakery next to it. Yeah. Yeah, so those are my ideas. <laughs> And that is one of my favorite playwright offers, William Shakespeare. Question is, do you like tragedies or comedies? I feel like I'm in between because I like dark comedies, but I also like horror where there's tragedy at the end, it's like unexpected or like plot twists. So the next one, Lauren is a read question and answer for me because I tried, but I could not read the series. And it's the series is called Diversion by Veronica Roth. Yeah, so the question is, what faction would you find yourself in? And so there are five different factions. And I don't know if this completely defines Nicole, but <laughs> you really, really love books and obtaining knowledge. So I can see you being an erudite. It's like basically Ravencrawl on steroids. <laughs> so basically think of Belle and Ravencrawl combined and have a baby. That's Nikki. I mean, I don't know if that fully describes me because yes, I like to read, but when I'm bored, that's when my lucky side comes out and I play a lot of pranks. So I probably butchering this guy's last name, but it's it's close enough. It's David Levia. If you had to be any person for a day, who would it be? And I have a really good, smart answer, I feel like. I would want to be the president of Disney. Get rid of all the people that are destroying it and making it down a drain. Hire my own staffs, the people I know that want the good old class of Disney we all drill with, and actually made some of these movies. Yeah, I mean, even just hiring writers that you know and, and trust to write original content. I mean, let's face it, nothing good has done from Disney since they started doing the live actions. Yeah. I mean, they missed a really good opportunity. I would have done live action, sure, but I would have done the villains, I would have done the princes, I would have done the side hits. Like, why retell the same story and just made live action? That makes no sense. Next question is for H.G. Wells. And I have multiple answers for this one. Go for it. <laughs> if you could travel to any place, when and where would you go? And since I'm a huge mythology fan, I would probably go to like ancient Greece or ancient, well not ancient Egypt because people were in Korea well about then. But Maybe before the destruction of the pyramids and the hydrophobes. And also medieval times period or 
I refer to as the Dark Ages before the Dark Dark Ages. I just like <laughs> the Dark Ages before the Black Plague to interact with all the history and the revolutions that were occurring then. And also to see like where a lot of our cultures and arts were first created and may have a little influence on it. So basically you're saying you particularly want to be an influencer. Well, yeah. I mean think about like all the myths and histories that were lost because they were destroyed. I didn't say them. Well, that was fun. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this and feel free to take the tide and do it yourself. I would be intrigued to see what your answers are. And also because I hit 100 subscribers, I am doing a poetry giveaway. So down below will be a duo doc and you just need to put in your name and what kind of poem you'd like. And on April 1st, I will put one, maybe two, I don't know yet. Winners, and I'll write a poem for them. So, until next time, like and sub to this video, and hopefully more content will come out soon. If there any suggestions of things you'd like me to cover, comment below. And until next time, I'll see you.